While the beef wellington is baking in the oven, what are we doing? So now what we're gonna do is uh, we're gonna be making the fingerling potatoes. Perfect. All right, so like what I was doing before is we parboiled them, we blanched them, and now what we did is after we blanched for a good five minutes, we went ahead and extracted all the water, um, we drained all the water, and now we're gonna go ahead and put it on the cast iron skillet. The same cast iron pan that we use uh, when we went ahead and seared the beef, just to add that extra flavor to it, okay? And so here we got the pepper, we got the salt, we got the canola oil, as well as you know some butter, rosemary, and obviously the potatoes, all right? So just like before, is before we go ahead and start stir frying or putting anything on the pan, you gotta make sure it's nice and hot, and then you go ahead and put some oil in there. This is really fancy, by the way. Yeah, I got it at Bed Bath & Beyond. I love it because mm -hmm. it like shoots out maybe about a quarter teaspoon or something of oil at a time. So it's great if you want to measure, but it's better if mm -hmm. you want to like spray vegetables mm -hmm. to roast because it gives it a nice even spray. That's awesome. Good to know. So right here. All right. So it's nice and hot, which is great. Let's go ahead and start adding the potatoes and make sure there's no water in here because what happens when you put water and oil what happens <laughs> i'm like yeah it splatters everywhere it splatters everywhere all right so get the nice sizzle right here oh listen to that sizzle okay, so now what i like to do is go ahead and throw some butter in here so like a half stick of butter but cut it up into quarters you grab the potatoes face down, okay? Like the one that's actually cut, face it down. Because you want to get that nice color. You smell the butter mm -hmm. with the potatoes. Oh, Add a little okay. pepper on here. A little salt. Be generous with the pink Himalayan salt, right? Mm hmm. Makes everything better. And you got these rosemary. And what I'm doing is go ahead and pull from the opposite direction and Smart. as it add that aromatic flavor. The aroma, the house is gonna be smelling mm. really nice and good. It's so easy to do. All you have to do is quickly parboil them mm -hmm. and then quickly sear roast them on your cast iron skillet. Correct. Throw some rosemary and call it a day. Mm -hmm. Love it. So like the fat gives it that nice color, all right? So butter is always great, right? Yeah. And also with the cast iron skillet, so it maintains that temperature. So you want to have it nice and brown, right? You go to 10 to 15 minutes, right? It all depends on a lot of different things, you know, like how high you have the skillet, but also you don't want to over, you don't want to burn it, right? So every so often, probably after the first five minutes, you want to check underneath it, you know? But here, you can tell it's not too brown, but give it like about 10 minutes and then check it out. And then you can do it from there, but no more than 15 minutes. And after that, you flip, right? and then you do it for another 15 minutes, lay it on its back for 15 minutes. All right, so how long has this been like kind of roasting or frying or searing? So the 10 minutes. Oh, look at perfect. That color. That's good, good color. You look at that color. 